Okay, this is the one that I'm not going to take along. Anything with that hydro is a no. I made it on time, but I just now drove the wrong damn way. I think back where you actually get surgery and... I don't know. I hope nobody... Saw. I know they did see me, actually. I know the cameras are on. Whew! But <laughs> I'm out of there, so I'm about to walk in right now. I got in the room pretty quickly because I just have a bunch of work that I need to... Look at all these papers. I have a whole book of papers that I need to fill out. So I'm just going to do that right now. And then she said she's going to come back and check on me in 10 minutes. I'm not going to be done with this in no 10 minutes. I don't read everything because I've read all this before because I have had surgery and it's pretty much like the same stuff. But yeah, I kind of just look over and they give you copies to take uh, take home. I will say it's a little scary when you're reading the papers because they really go into detail what could happen. But you'll be okay. I'll be okay. I got everything done and I just had to pay and then fill out all of those papers, which took forever. But um, it was pretty easy trip. Um, I have to get my blood work done by Friday and then I have to pick up my meds. Like I said, reading through the papers, it just makes you like, okay, should I be doing this? Like, what am I doing? Is that serious? Because like you go over all the risk and everything, which I pretty much know, but it's never stopped me before. Um, yeah, but I am going to make an appointment with my regular doctor too, just to, you know, just have a checkup, even though I really don't have to. You're pretty much only required blood work because that pretty much says, tells them everything that they need to know. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be having surgery in the afternoon, which I've never had surgery in the afternoon. My face looks oily. I've always had surgery in the morning. There's nothing too different that I have to do except the um, cayenne and spicy foods thing that I saw in there and tea. Like, I don't think I've ever been told that I couldn't drink tea and um i had to stop eating spicy foods because that's a big deal to me because i put cayenne pepper on everything so i have to stop that uh by the end of this week because it's 10 days before and then i also have to continue it 10 days after same with like alcohol um smoking hookah that type of stuff so i did drink during my birthday vacation but um i haven't smoked hookah in uh huh. I think when I went um to Atlanta, that was the last time. Um, I really don't smoke hookah like I used to. I used to smoke hookah all the time, like every weekend. I also have to stop taking my vitamins because you guys know I take like a lot of vitamins. I think I've showed you guys all the vitamins that I take. Um, so I can't take those. I don't take any sort of aspirin or any of that stuff, so that's easy. I don't take it already. <laughs> starting to sprinkle a little bit outside which means I need to go home because why is my seat so weird hold on I feel like my seat is up I like to sit super low what the hell whatever um so I stopped by I, went, I came over here to get juices and to get some tea because I drink tea every single day and I just wanted to stop and get me a good cup of tea because I can't have tea for 20 days starting tomorrow morning good morning good morning my eyes are watery. I just put my drops in but I'm in a rush because <laughs> I'm late for the gym y'all that seven o'clock does not damn it comes so fast so this morning I'm obviously about to head to the gym and oh she's sexy today in the gym today is going to be pretty much still preparing for surgery because now we are a week I mean we're still about the same out actually probably um exactly 10 days out now 
I did not vlog yesterday because all I was doing was I edited my St. Lucia um, vlog. So make sure you go watch that because it's coming out today. The guy came and looked at my jacuzzi jets. So now that that's done, I just have to get the tub painted now. So I'm gonna hit up that guy today and see when he can come to do that. And the dude told me that, so on the bottle and everything, and the people at the store told me to put half a bottle. I told him it was a jacuzzi bath tub. The dude was like, um, no, all you need, you don't need half the bottle. You need two tablespoons. So I'm like, that's why my tub was looking all crazy like that, y'all. Hat on means hair is not done and eyebrows aren't done. And I'm also looking over this um, checklist this pre-surgery checklist. It's just everything that um, you know that you need to get. A lot of it, of the essentials is food. So I'm not gonna go get that right now. Um, and then it says like, um, arrange a ride and someone to be with you for 24 hours. Obviously I already did that. Stop all blood thinners and no seafood or tea. Told you guys about that. I don't eat seafood, but I did stop tea. Um, it says start prenatal vitamins with iron and stop all other multi multivitamins. I have never taken no prenatal, um, prenatal vitamin before surgery. So I need to check in that. And then it says get lab work um, as soon as possible. And I'm gonna go do that right now. So I'm gonna check that off real quick. It says practice sleeping positions, which basically means I'm gonna be sleeping on my back, which I'm used to, kind of at my back and kind of sitting up, and I'm used to that because I've had my boobs on. So let's go ahead and X that off. Get essentials. I'm not gonna get the food stuff right now because I wanna go when I can drop all this stuff off at my mom's. Um, read through post-op instructions with caregiver. Honestly, when I have somebody taking care of me, they really don't take care of me for nothing but like the first day or two because that's because you're so drowsy from the anesthesia and like the meds. That's the only reason like I really need anybody. After that, I'm pretty cool. Like I, um, the first day, okay, yeah, can you get my food or whatever? But after that, like you wanna be getting up and moving around to keep your um, blood circulating so you don't get any blood clots. So I pretty much do get up after that. It's not a big deal. And then um, pick up all prescriptions. I'm gonna X that because I'm gonna do that before I head over to get my blood drawn. Um, prepare a bag for surgery loose clothes you always want to have a zip up and i'm not going to do that yet i'm going to wait until next week take off polish acrylic and gel from your big thumbs and your big toes so that is really annoying i forgot to mention that when i came out the thing um when i came out my appointment um on monday so i mean not monday on wednesday i um never had to take off my freaking big thumb usually i have to take it off a nail I've, what the hell did i say i have had to take off a nail before but it was my ring fingers i think not my thumbs that's kind of weird but whatever so i have to get these taken off i'm actually gonna get my nails done still and just tell them not to do my thumbs and then same with my feet i'm gonna get my feet done and then just tell them not to do the big toe and i'm just gonna be weird for a little bit <laughs> until I can go get my nails done. Female patient will be asked to give a urine sample. They wanna make sure that you are not pregnant. So that I'm used to. And it's really hard to use the bathroom that morning because they tell you, well, I'm not even going in the morning, I'm going in the afternoon. But it's hard because they don't want you to eat or drink for all those hours before. So it's like, what am I doing? Wear your hair high. They say wear your hair high up so you can lay back. Um, I think I've always done that. Dang, four times a day. I picked up all my um, prescriptions. Whatever, the, I'm about to Google some of these because I don't be remembering and I just need to know what is, okay, this is the one that I'm not going to take along. 
anything with that hydro is a no. I didn't have to pay. I don't know, I guess my insurance covers it. I've had to pay for my meds from surgery before, but then sometimes I don't have to pay. Like I'll just go up in there and they're like, and it just says zero. But um, there's been times when I had to pay like $150 for my prescription from um, getting surgery. So that's what I'm always like thinking in my head, like, oh, okay, I have to spend this much to get my uh, meds for surgery. I think I'm about to call my mom right now and just remind her because I told her before about this everything, but I don't think she remembers how soon it was. She'd be trying not to answer sometimes. She ain't doing nothing at all. Okay. What the hell? Sometimes people don't like to answer FaceTime though, because I'm the same way. I'm kind of like, oh, dang, I got to look at you. Maybe she's at the gym. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox. Hold on, let me call my brother. I don't FaceTime my brother because he's like me. Don't be just FaceTiming me. Hello. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Uh, I'm about to go take uh, mom to uh, work out in like uh, 20 minutes. Oh, okay. See, I knew y'all was about to work out. I called her. Oh, what happened? She didn't answer. we about to go to my favorite store but first we're gonna stop at Starbucks because I heard they have a new vegan option so I'm about to go over there and check that out first and then we're gonna head over to Target so I got the Starbucks and Target is right there that's why I like driving way over here I feel like I'm always in my car I am yeah I'm glad I can get it getting everything from Target I didn't get what didn't I get a couple things that I'm gonna eat I have a few things here that I'm gonna take to my mom's kind of like prep and take to my mom's and then I'm gonna get soups from Panera um, you know they're already ready to go in those little cups and everything so i'm just gonna stop by and get some of those and put those at my mom's house probably like the night before and then um i'm gonna get some juices if i don't have enough here to take over there and i need um sweats because i do have some obviously but i feel like i wear all my things that I have and there's a possibility of blood getting on it. it sounds kind of dumb to buy something new that might get blood on it but that's why I didn't get it at Target because Target it's a little bit pricier for something that like it's not even like cute like their sweats were too like I don't know just like older lady sweats so um i didn't get those they had cute leggings and stuff but i want it to be like loose fitting so i think i'm going to go to like h m or something because they have the their sweatsuits they're like really cheap and yeah so i won't mind if i get blood on it and if i don't get blood on it i'll probably wear it again so i'm gonna go by and see if i can get like a you know just some sweats and like a zip up hoodie zip up because you don't want to be like this well i don't for my surgery i can't be like this so yeah it's the end of saturday night it is 9 34 so i have one more day until surgery and i just feel like i really don't even feel like i'm getting surgery i'm positive and i mean i'm ready there's really nothing i can do 
And then right now I'm just gonna get my bag together to go take to my mom's because I'm not sure if I'm gonna stay the night at my mom's house on Sunday and then wake up Monday and go to surgery. I kinda wanna sleep in my own bed on Sunday and then um, just have them pick me up and drop me off. So that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, but I still wanna go take all my stuff, you know, set up everything. Because like, that's how I always do. When I have surgery and even when someone's taking care of me, like before I go, I like my, you know, my side table. I want my water there. I want my crackers there. I want all my meds there. I want some flowers there. Yes, I said flowers. I just feel like, um, it just helps me to heal like if everything is just right there so um this is like gonna go by the bedside i'm bringing this huge one to go by the bedside i got some roses to go on the bedside yes i'm a little bit extra and i got some ones that aren't open yet because you know so over like the days that i'm there you know they'll be fresh still i have this gatorade you guys saw me get in the video because um the morning of surgery, when you take the little pill that you're supposed to take before surgery, I forget which one it is. So he's gonna be texting me tomorrow, the um, anesthesiologist who's gonna be putting me to sleep. Is that what it's called? I hope I said that right. But he's gonna be calling me, I mean, texting me tomorrow. Um, they always wanna be like real personal with you because they basically have your life in their hands. So I'm not, um, it's not unusual that they're gonna text me the night before because usually I do, um, you're in contact with them. They're going to be texting me tomorrow and let me know what time I have to take the pill and the little pill is to um, calm your nerves. It's gonna start getting you prepared because even though I'm like this right now, I'm like, oh, I don't feel like I'm going to surgery. Maybe when, you know, when the morning comes, it might be like, okay, oh fuck, okay. They're about to come get me like, oh you know like nerves do start to come and you do always think it's hard i know you know we say like oh think positive but sometimes you can't fight those negative thoughts and it's not like completely left field like it's real life like you know some people don't come out of surgery i'm going to take these prenatal vitamins i don't know if i told you guys i had to take the ones that i got from um Target back, I had to take those back because they were not vegan. So I took those back and um, I got these off Amazon and they're just like some gummies and I have to take four a day. Um, they're not good, but <laughs> whatever. That's the only thing that I could be taking right now that is like a um, vitamin. Oh my God, my hands are so ashy. Also, I was supposed to get my nails done today cause you know, I'm gonna get these done and have them take this one off. But um, something came up for um, my nail tech, something came up and he had to leave work early. So he um, canceled. And I was going back and forth with them all day because they were saying that they couldn't get me in until Monday. So I'm texting her all day and I'm like, okay, well, if I can't get my nails done, well, y'all need to take these thumbs off. I was kind of annoyed, even though I really don't need my nails done to go to surgery and I'm only gonna get these done and not the thumbs. But um, I just want my nails fresh. Like, I don't wanna go in and come out with freaking grown out nails. like. So if you got nail polish or anything, it makes it harder for them to read your heart rate, I think it is, something like that. So of course, I'm not playing with that um, situation. Like no, no clear nail polish, like nothing. It's gonna be bare nub, okay? <laughs> and I'm somebody who has always had their nails done since I was 17, so that's why I'm just like, she was like, well, we can soak all your nails off. And I'm like, and then, what like i'm gonna leave with all my no i can't do it I'll, I'll do the four nails because i cannot have a bare nail like i don't like my hands without nails so i had to do that somebody canceled and i get to um go in tomorrow so that's good i also got my sweatsuit from h m you guys will see that in the part two of this video because you'll see me when I'm before I go into surgery. Um, 
And like I said, those sweatsuits are way cuter and way cheaper. And I'm gonna go back, I think, tomorrow just to get, cause I only got one and I need more than one zip up because I'm gonna have to get up the next day and go to my um, post-op. So yeah, I need to go get another, at least one more because I'm gonna pretty much be in the same clothes cause I can't even take a shower for a week. <laughs> I can, you know, I could like bird bath. I could like wash up, but like I can't get in a full shower and wash for a week. So I'm just going to be taking like, you know, a whole bath. All right, you guys. So it is the night before surgery. It is almost midnight and I'm still up, you know, just doing last minute things that I won't be able to do once I have surgery. So I got my nails done today. And as you can see, my thumbs are off um on uh both hands and the same with my big toes i got them done the same way um i got them a little bit shorter and these are still the a press nails um i actually really like these nails so that's what i got again and i just got them short and nude so it doesn't look you know totally crazy and then he just like buffed my my thumbnail i didn't end up going to my mom's today because i don't have surgery until um, noon I don't have to check in until noon so I was just kind of like I might as well just wait wake up early um, take all my stuff to my mom set it up how I want it and then she'll drop me off to get surgery so the doctor who's going to be giving me my anesthesia he did text me today and he let me know that I can take a volume today like that was earlier and he said I could take a volume if I'm feeling um, anxious or really nervous because a lot of people do start to freak out because it is the day before well now it's the day because it's midnight so um i don't need to take it i you know i don't ever take anything before um surgery i don't think that i need it <laughs> the only time that you're gonna need it for me the only time i want to take meds is to um suppress any pain so I ain't got no pain, so I'm just gonna thug it out. Um, I'm still not nervous. I'll probably won't be nervous until the IVs in my arm, but then when the IVs in my arm, I'm gonna start going to sleep. So I don't know, we'll see. You'll see in the next video. Make sure you stay tuned for that one. And I hope you guys enjoyed this surgery prep video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.